the APHA ASP National Patient Counseling Competition. The major objective of the APHA ASP National Patient Counseling Competition is to encourage student pharmacists in their efforts toward becoming better patient educators. The competition is designed to reflect the changes occurring in pharmacy practice, to promote and encourage further professional development of the student pharmacist, and to reinforce the role of the pharmacist in improving medication use and advancing patient care. The competition begins on the local level as students compete to be the national representative from their school or college of pharmacy. The competition on the local level may be funded from a variety of sources, such as official college funds, locally obtained funding, state association support, and student fundraising activities. Both the locally awarded prizes and the travel expenses for the winner to compete in the national competition will be the responsibility of the school or college of pharmacy. Each of the top 10 finalists that compete in the final round of local competition will receive an award, compliments of APHA, ASP, and CVS Health. Once the local winner from each school or college of pharmacy is decided, this individual will schedule an appointment to compete on the national level at the APHA 2020 Annual Meeting and Exposition in National Harbor, Maryland. The national competition is divided into the preliminary round and final round. During the preliminary round, students select a practice scenario at random and are required to counsel a patient on the appropriate use of the drug involved. Students are then given time to refer to the reference sources available in the model pharmacy. After consulting the references and determining the appropriate information for the patient, the participants counsel the patient. Evaluations are based on the content and style of the counseling presentations. The 10 highest scoring participants are then invited to the final round. The final round involves a more complex counseling situation where the participants again select a prescription at random and are asked to counsel the patient on safe and effective drug use. In addition, the patient in the final round will display personality characteristics such as anxiousness, belligerence, or apathy to challenge the participant's ability to convey pertinent information in a realistic situation. The top 10 finalists in the national competition will be recognized during the APHA ASP Awards Celebration and will receive a cash prize compliments of APHA ASP and CBS Health. The APHA ASP National Patient Counseling Competition for Student Pharmacists is conducted in partnership with CVS Health. For more information, contact the APHA Student Development Department, 2215 Constitution Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20037. Telephone 1-800-237-2742, extension 7514. The following is the counseling session of the winner of the 2019 competition. Hi. Hello. I'm here to pick up a prescription. Okay, great. My name's Jordan and I'm the pharmacist here today. I can help you with that. Who's the patient you're picking up for? Myself, Goldie Rush. Okay, and what's your date of birth? 1173. Great. So we did get a prescription in from your doctor today. If you have about five minutes, I'd really love to talk to you about this medication since it is a new prescription. Yes. Okay, great. We can just have a seat right here. Okay. Before we get started, I just wanted to make sure that we have everything correct on our file. Mm -hmm. Is that still your current address and phone number? Yes. Okay. And then um, what allergies do you have? None. Okay. And what medications are you currently taking? None yet. Okay. So it looks like um, we got a couple medications that we have on file. We have the Zofran on file for you. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then the new prescription that we got in today is Compazine, is what the brand name is. And um, the generic is Prochlorperazine. And what did your doctor tell you you were going to be taking this medication for? It's to help if I feel nauseous after chemotherapy. Yeah, absolutely. And so that is something we see a lot. And so you can take this actually as an alternative to your um, Zofran, or you can take it with your Zofran as well. Um, how did your doctor tell you to take this medication? Um, normally I would take my Zofran, but if it doesn't work, then I can take one of those too. Yes, exactly. So after you um, have your chemotherapy, if you're feeling very nauseous and you try to take that Zofran and it's not helping, then you can use this one. Okay. And I'm so sorry. I know this must be very, very difficult for you. 
And we really hope that this is going to help with your um, nausea that you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. So at least you'll be feeling a little bit better, okay? Okay. And so those instructions will be on here. You'll just want to take one tablet by mouth. You can do it three or four times a day, either with your Zofran or as an alternative, okay? Sure. Um, if you would miss a dose, it's okay because you're just taking it as needed. Just don't take it more than three or four times a day. Okay. Um, and you just want to store it in this container, protect it from light, and kind of keep it in a dry environment, so not in the bathroom, okay? Okay. And then um, they gave you a few refills on here, so if you start running low, just give me a call and I can fill some more for you, okay? Okay. Once again, I'm just so sorry to hear about this and I really hope that this helps you, okay? You. And then um, what did your doctor tell you to expect from this medication, such as side effects? No, nothing. Okay, one thing that I want you to be aware of is that it can um, actually kind of make you a little dizzy. So if you're laying down and you sit up, just do it a little bit slower to be safe. Uh, it can upset your stomach, so if you can keep some food down if you're feeling nauseous, you can take it with some food as well, but it's okay to take it on an empty stomach if you're not keeping food down. Okay. If you would start to have any muscle symptoms like twitching or pain, <clears throat> let your doctor know because that can be a serious side effect of this. Another possible side effect is if you um, have a low white blood cell count, it can make you more at risk for infections. So if you have any fever or chills, let your doctor know, okay? Sure. What questions do you have about this one for me? Um, none. I just have to wait and see what happens. Okay. And just to make sure I didn't miss anything, would you tell me how you're going to take this medication? Um, three to four times a day, mm -hmm. um, not on an empty stomach. Um, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. So you can take it with your Zofran if it's not working, or you can take it as an alternative. And you can take it with some food if that helps. And once again, just let your doctor know if you're having any muscle side effects or some fever and chills, okay? Okay. Any other questions at all for me? No. Okay, well I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. If any questions come up, just give me a call at any time. Okay. And once again, I'm just, I'm really sorry that you're feeling this way and I really hope that this helps you. Thank you. Yeah, well have a nice day, okay? Okay. The APHA Academy of Student Pharmacists, with over 36,000 members from the 141 schools and colleges of pharmacy nationwide, is a subdivision of the American Pharmacists Association, the National Professional Society of Pharmacists. CVS Health was founded in 1963 and currently has approximately 9,600 stores across the U.S. As the largest pharmacy retailer in America, CVS Health is committed to providing outstanding service and value to consumers while meeting their health care needs.